Okay. All right. So, take two. I accidentally muted myself during that entire introduction, and I didn't realize that. But, well, guys, these past two days have been kind of hectic. That PlayStation conference literally made me want to go buy a PlayStation 5 because there's just a lot more I want to play all of a sudden on the PlayStation 5 than the Xbox. So it's just like, there's so much. And then today, this morning, guess what gets announced? Monster Hunter Rise, the new Monster Hunter game that's supposedly running on the RE engine on a Switch. And I'm just, holy crap. I just, there's just so much to talk about. The Sony conference, God of War 2 got announced. Fucking Miles Morales looks amazing. Um, what's it called? Demon Souls looks amazing. Like, just right off the bat, they just hit me with so many things I care more about. Final Fantasy 16. So many things. And I know this is kind of like a, this is just like, like a just chatting thing. And I probably should have brought up like the PlayStation trailer or something like that. But, you know, whatever. But, um, just, holy crap. It's been a hectic time. And then again, this morning, Monster Hunter Rise comes out. Or, I mean, gets re uh, revealed. Um, and then we also get Monster Hunter Stories 2. I've never played the first one, but I heard a lot of good stuff. And I've always liked the idea of what um stories was about so i would love to play stories and now suddenly i need to invest in a new switch or not a new switch in a switch like jesus dude i don't have enough money for this i don't like goodness gracious dude so it, it's just kind of like talk about my excitement right now um when i watched this i couldn't record a video right off the bat I probably should have recorded my reaction, but eh, you know, eh. We'll one day we'll do live reactions, right? Cause who doesn't just like to react to stuff? But um Yeah, no. It's kinda nuts. Iceborne just ended. And obviously a lot of people were like, a new monster hunter is coming on the way, because it's been rumored for so long. And it's finally here. And I just like, I'm blown away that we have dogs now. We have dogs, we have cats. Dogs are now the attacker ones, and supposedly cats are. So far, what we know, right? Let's dive in real quick. So far, what we know from just watching that trailer and a little bit of the debut stuff they did, right? Pets. So you can have four player co op, right? Which is really, I mean, that's kind of standard, right? Four player co op. Um, each one person can now bring their own pet to the fight. So it's a total of eight things four AIs and four um, player controlled people, human controlled people, right? So you got eight people on the battlefield, <clears throat> which I feel like might be a little testing ground for next generation. Uh, Monster Hunter, we might get some more strong fights. Huh? Huh? Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Come back to this video in a few years when World 2 gets announced, eh? Huh? Uh, but, uh, Turf Wars are back. Toby Kadachi's back. It seems. We don't know if he's actually confirmed just yet. Turf, um, Turf Wars were shown off. They announced Turf Wars. Right? They showed, um, the freaking sloth bear thing versus um, this guy right here, right? And I was just like, damn, okay, so that's so we're bringing in world stuff. And then the clutch claw is technically back, but they're adding their own little twist to it where it's a wire fly. So that's kind of cool, right? And it's coming March 26, 2021. You can pre order now. I want to switch. I really want to switch. The deluxe version looks really nice. Um, but, uh, so the flagship monster is Magna Malo. 
Of course, that doesn't mean that's the final boss of the game, that's just the final fight for the event quest. I mean the main story quest, right? We have no idea what the hell to expect as the final final boss. It's it's kind of crazy. Um, but... I never expected so much freedom. Funny enough, right? Freedom Unite. Ha 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 ha. Um, so much freedom in Monster game. You can parkour. You can run up walls. You can use your dog to fucking run up walls as well. Like, what is this? You basically turn into Spider-Man. Like, like, look at this. What is this? Just imagine next gen. And this looks pretty good for a Switch game. I'm not going to lie. This looks pretty damn good. Um, the village. Shit, I should have wrote down the name of the village. That's the one thing I can't remember. But, um, yeah. This monster. Hold on. This, nah, not this one. This one has fireball stuff, so that's always interesting, right? Fireball stuff is always... He apparently he changes his form for each attack. This next one, I'm really... This one. The Great Ichizu... Ich Izuchi. So, apparently, the little f mechanics against this monster is... He likes to attack at the same time with his little minions. As you saw there, um, both the minions kind of did the same attack, right? Which I think is kind of neat. And then you saw a little bit of Turf Wars. Dual Blades have their little rolling down the back thing. I don't know what the hell that umbrella is. Rathalos, um, again, is pretty much confirmed. I'm 99% sure. I mean, if he hasn't confirmed. Shit, I mean, that's the, I think that's the first time we had a Rathalos not be in the game, right? Um, Because in the uh, little demo they had. Oh, shit, Mike. Ah, I ruined the camera. My, um... The, uh, they showed Rathalos armor, so I'm kind of paying attention to that stuff. I don't know whose armor is the one with the wings, though. Um, there was a little screenshot that people posted of Bulfangos coming back, which we all know and love Bulfangos from Fading Unite. <laughs> from just old Monster Hunter games, your best friends, as they would say, right? Um, but, uh, my excitement levels are through the roof, honestly. The combat looks amazing in this game. It's like, it's, it's so much flashy. Like, so much flashiness to it. And suddenly, like, my quality for my recording just dropped. My capture. Holy shit. Um, but... As soon as there's more news to say... Oh! Actually, I almost forgot. At Tokyo Game Show, which is coming up next week. Or is it this week? Is it this weekend, the 22nd? No, it's next weekend. Tomorrow's the 18th. I don't know. It's one, it's one of those days, right? It, it, I'll, it, Tokyo Game Show is soon. We're going to get more information about Monster Hunter. Um, so... As soon as I know more stuff, we'll definitely do a little video about it. Uh, I wanted to try something new for this because I like this is this is the best way to debut it. Just uh, let's just talk exciting news and all that stuff. There's a new Monster Hunter event quest that's out as well that I need to go do and record. It's the Tio Strand, the, the, the supply cache, right? And um. Manga Mala looks cool. He looks fucking cool. Manga Malo looks fucking cool, dude. Uh, what? Like, this is another thing. That spider thing. What is that spider thing? Like, there's so much to dissect just alone from this video. Um, I love the logo, by the way. Monster Hunter Rise. That's like an amazing logo. And then these two. Who are these two? Who are these two girls? Hmm. Hmm. I really hope I can get everything in order and be able to buy a Switch on top of a new gen console on top of my computer just to play Monster Hunter. 
because I need to play Generations as well, and I need to play this one. And oh my gosh, guys, it's just so much. I feel broke without even spending any money. Like, like man, just ah uh, man. I hope you guys are excited, like, as much as I am. Although, obviously, you guys probably are, right? You're Monster Hunter fans. Come on. That's what this channel has been based on so far. Um, just look at that, man. I don't think Wireflies are going to be like Clutch Claw in the sense of tenderizing. Which is kind of nice. But at the same time, I'm going to get... I'm gonna think it's world, right? With all that shenanigans going on, you know? And they also decided to go with English voices, by the way. English voices. So they're following more of a story route, which is kind of fun. Um, I've always been a fan of introducing a story to Monster Hunter more than there already like is besides like where you do your deep dives and talk to people and they tell you things and you read the small little quest um stuff and the stories in the little quest line things right so just to be able to learn more about the Monster Hunter universe and stuff like that is really cool to me um like I really enjoyed world story obviously as just like plot wise I think we could have done better, right? But it's their first time truly going at a story, I feel like, besides stories. I think stories is a whole different thing, though. A whole different team. But, um... Look at that. Look at that combo right there. The sword and shield seems to, like, be able to, like, spin the thing around, which is kind of nice. Um... And then the, uh, great sword can jump in the air like backflip into a true charge uh slash i think what it's called right yeah um that's nuts that's fucking nuts dude you can literally just backstep in the air and into an attack that's amazing um but yeah i think uh that's that's about much it's all about it's all about i think that's I don't even know. I'm just stuttering too much. I'm just too excited, honestly. And this is from me having a long day from work and waiting to get home to talk to you guys about this, right? Like, I, this is all I've been thinking about today. Along with hopefully being able to pre order PS5. Because I can't trust online. I can't trust delivery. I don't trust delivery. Because, guess what? I've had a package stolen for me that's $400 worth. That was a graphics card. And I'm not gonna have that happen in my PS5. Fuck that, dude. Hell no. Not again, right? But, um. Yeah. Just one last time. Just admire this trailer. <laughs> Let's see if I catch anything else I missed. The new. Vi I can't wait to hear the new village theme and the music. Oh my god, hold on. Wait, I can't even. It would take forever for me to pause the music and stuff. Damn, having only one monitor. Tetrachodon. I feel like he's gonna have ugly armor. That's all I'm gonna say. The Izuchi looks like he's gonna have great armor though for a base start. I bet you that's gonna be like the great jaggy armor with attack boost. Watch, watch. I'm betting it right now. Mangamalo. Looks so cool. And the dogs look really cool. What the heck is that umbrella thing? Oh man, there's so much to know. There's so much, dude. But uh, enough st stalling this video more than it really needed to be. Um, let me know what you guys think. But about everything, PlayStation 5 news, Monster Hunter news, just everything. Let's talk, dude. I love talking about this stuff with people. So, you know, we'll see. I'll see you guys in the comments. Of course, as always, 
We'll be back soon enough with a Monster Hunter video, Mafia video, yada yada. We'll see you guys next time.